I am visually impaired. I have a guide dog, her name is JJ. She's been my best friend, my confidence, my independence. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be out um, walking or I used to just walk to the litter box and back to my house. Since having her, I've done a lot more walking and it makes me feel good. Both Ocean and I are looking for a sport that um, we can compete in safely with poor vision. So can't really be a rugby player, so a marathon's going to be for me. And you're training for the Auckland Half Marathon, is that correct? Yes. The main reason for me is just the fellowship, being able to share with other people that whole experience. Part of it was to run for guide dogs, and also part of it is to know that I'm able to compete with um, able-bodied people. Since my passing of my dad, I haven't had someone to compete with. Now that I've met Ocean, it's something that we're both fascinated with and have, have really started to enjoy. It's not easy to find a job. It's actually quite hard. I have applied for many jobs. And sometimes when you go for an interview, basically putting an elf in the room, because of your disability, how can you do the job? That's one thing I find hard to deal with. We also can face discrimination, discrimination whether it's deliberate yeah. or, or not, it happens it and happens. it's made working challenging. It's essential that we are able to prepare in a better way than we are now. Only so much can be done through the walking and the running. The situation we have with work hasn't really allowed us to be able to afford going to the gym. How would you guys feel if someone were to come on board and help you out. Oh man, that, that would be, be awesome. Amazing. That would change things a lot for us. We'd be we'd definitely show them that we're, we're, we're not kidding around. We're, we're, we're going to achieve this goal. Yeah. And when we set a goal, we we'll get it. there. We'll stick to it and we will get there with it. You see Alana over there? Yeah. yeah. Alana's from Generation Homes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alana's heard about you guys and she was actually sitting there Oh yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh. I've been listening to your story. Oh, okay. I'm feeling a little bit emotional. <laughs> we wanted to come on board and sponsor these guys because after speaking with the Water Boy, there is an alignment between our values. Generation Homes is about building communities. We do a lot of catering for people's disabilities in various shapes and forms, so we're very used to helping out people in the community that need to be catered for. I'm thrilled to see them getting involved and they really want to be part of it, so it's brilliant. Generation Homes have decided that they want to come on board and, and help you guys oh, wow. get to the gym, so Fastlane have also decided to give you guys a discount. And, oh, that's amazing. And you guys are going to be training here for the next three months. Yay! Then... Wow. On behalf of Generation Homes, we are so excited to be part of this journey with Craig and Ocean and I'm just absolutely thrilled that they were so excited that they're getting in here and they're going to get their training going and achieve these goals and we're going to be there uh, on the 29th when they cross that finish line. This is awesome. Just had a band playing back there. First K and a bit in. Feeling real good. First 10K has been good. I was happy I beat my last time. I'm still going. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
we love our customers and we love our staff and we couldn't be doing it without them. So yeah, we do thank them.